This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. Hey, we all know how freaking nuts the ocean is. I could probably make like a hundred episodes of this dumb show just about weird sea creatures. But too often do we forget about the incredibly strange fish that live right in our lakes and rivers. So after binge watching the seventh season of River Monsters, here's my list of the five weirdest freshwater fish. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching Five Weird Animal Facts. First up is one of the most prehistoric fish alive today, the American Paddlefish. Found in the Mississippi River Basin, fossil records of the paddlefish date back over 300 million years. That's almost 50 million years before the dinosaurs first appeared. If you hadn't noticed already, these guys look a little bit different. That massive nose thingy is covered with tens of thousands of sensory receptors for locating food. With an animal that looks like this, you'd expect it to be a vicious predator, but in fact, the paddlefish is a filter feeder feeding mostly on zooplankton. Number two belongs to a family of fish that are close relatives of the paddlefish, the lake sturgeon. Reaching up to two meters in length, the lake sturgeon is one of the very few species of sturgeon found almost exclusively in fresh water. Those whiskers around its snout are used to taste the sediment at the bottom of rivers and lakes in search of worms, insect larvae, and other small invertebrates to be vacuumed into its toothless mouth. This species is found in the U.S. and Canada, but is unfortunately listed as threatened due to unsustainable fishing in the early 1900s. In fact, of the 27 species of sturgeon found worldwide, 24 are threatened with extinction and 16 are listed as critically endangered. It never ceases to blow my mind how the actions of one single species of primate can so drastically alter the timeline of an animal that's been around since before the dinosaurs. Speaking of dinosaurs, number three looks just as ancient as the previous two fish, just a bit more toothy. The alligator gar. The largest garfish on the planet and yet another one of the largest freshwater fish in North America, the alligator gar averages about 2 meters in length but has been reported to reach as long as 3 meters and weigh over 300 pounds. These fish are built tough. Their large scales overlap and are composed of a hard inner layer of bone, pretty much giving them a built-in suit of armor. They also have a highly vascularized swim bladder that works like a lung. This allows the alligator gar to breathe air and survive in water conditions in which other fish would suffocate. They're opportunistic ambush predators that hunt mostly at night, using their double rows of sharp teeth to take down any fish, bird, or small mammal that's unlucky enough to swim within range. Number four, the walking catfish. Guess what it can do? This air-breathing catfish is native to Southeast Asia and has been introduced into the United States, where it's become established as an invasive species in Florida. The walking catfish is named for its magical ability to move on land by keeping itself upright with its pectoral fins while wiggling itself forward with its tail. It evolved this skill in order to move to different bodies of water after one dries out and becomes uninhabitable. Last but certainly not least, here's number five, the four-eyed fish. This genus of fish doesn't actually have four eyes, but instead has two very large eyes that each have two pupils. One pupil is positioned at the top of the eye and is modified to see clearly above the water, while the other pupil is positioned at the bottom of the eye and is modified to see clearly below the water. This makes them really good at looking at stuff. As you'd expect, these fish spend the majority of their time at the water's surface, where they hunt for insects and other invertebrates while simultaneously watching out for danger down below. This is an awesome adaptation, but they still probably get made fun of by the other fish. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Like and share this video, and subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. Check out all my social media nonsense if you want to. And until next time, my friends, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts. My name is Brian Barcheck. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.